Growing up in the 60s, it was kind of hardwired that things were going to get better. The idea that we were going to go backwards, that just wasn't on the radar screen. Never doubt that a few committed individuals can change the world. I wouldn't be alive today if I wasn't careful. Mm -hmm. To make social change, you have to go to places that are frightening. In 1988, I was beaten up very severely by the police in San Francisco. My grandmother used to love to tell stories about how they had the picket lines. My father, age three at the time, would scream scab. <laughs> I believe the American people are going to make some absolutely wonderful changes within the next few years. I think that it's been exciting to see the interest of the younger generation. If you do it alone today, do it with two people tomorrow. Do it with four people the day after tomorrow. Do it with eight people the next day. And then 16 and 32. Just take what you love doing and do it with enough other people to make it the future.